yes children i'm in and it's time to see the answers yeah who wants to share the answer with the first one what is the expression for an and sn the nth term of the ap and the sum to n terms of an ap Ma'am, I got a n is equal to two n plus one, and s n is equal to n square plus two n. Same answer, ma'am. Same. Let me see. Ah, uh, Nandini, what are the two equations you got? Ma'am, ah, uh, I got a plus three d is equal to nine, and two uh, a plus thirteen d is equal to thirty-two. Two a plus thirteen d is equal to thirty-two. So, uh, which means you have uh, taken, uh, meaning you have constructed the equations using S seven sixty three and S fourteen, right? Yes, ma'am. Which is uh, two two twenty four, right? Two twenty four, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Okay. And what are your values of A and D? Ma'am, uh, A equals three and uh, D equals two, ma'am. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Anandini and all the others who got this uh, answer, fantastic. A n is two um, n <clears throat> plus one and S n is n square plus two n. So you notice that uh, uh, the expression to uh, the first n terms of an AP, sorry, the expression to n terms of an AP is always a linear expression in n. Linear expression. Linear expression in n. The general term, you call it in different ways. The general term of an AP, or the expression with which you can find any particular term of an AP, which is AN, is always a linear expression in N. And the sum to n terms of an AP is always a quadratic expression. Quadratic expression in N. So you can see this is a quadratic expression in N. n square plus 2n and this is linear in n 2n plus 1 very good i'll share the uh, pictures of the complete solutions also children for now we'll just see the uh, final answers yeah so the second one on uh, somebody else nandini answered the first one someone else volunteer to answer the second one please Yes, Anamya. Ma'am, I got area of the shaded region is one ninety six centimeter square, and perimeter is seventy one. Perimeter is seventy one. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Oh, I shouldn't have. Okay, any other answer? Meaning, uh, has anyone got a different answer? For perimeter, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thirty yes. centimeter. How much? Thirty-six centimeter. Subalakshmi, is it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thirty-six. Anybody else? <clears throat> Ananya said seventy-one. Subalakshmi says thirty-six. Perimeter, children. Okay. So area. Okay. What is the area of the four sectors? Someone else, not Ananya, not these three girls. Someone else. What is the area of the four One sectors? One fifty-four, ma'am. Ram, very good. One fifty-four. Okay. And uh, what's the area of the trapezium, Ram? Oh my God, four hundred. You got four hundred, is it? Okay. What yes. is the uh, what are the lengths of the parallel sides? Um, AB plus CD is a fifty. I got. Mm. No, no. I I can help you better if you answer my questions. So, like, uh, what are the what are the lengths of the parallel sides? Eighteen and 
32. Okay, and the distance between them? Distance. Oh my God, I took 16. Uh, see? Um. D distance is always the perpendicular distance. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, between the parallel sides. Yes, ma'am. Others, what's the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides? 14. 14. 14. Shreya Shri, 14. So how do you get that, Shreya Shri, 14? I mentioned it in the question. Louder? It was mentioned in the question one. Okay, it's mentioned in the question. Ram, why didn't you find that in the question? Um, yes, ma'am. Read it, read it from the question, Ram. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So then it's 350. 350 is the correct answer. Area of the trapezium 350, uh, area of the four sectors 154. And the difference is the uh, area of the shaded region, which is 350 minus 154, 196. And Ram, what is the perimeter of the shaded region? <clears throat> um, I did not work there, Ma'am. Ma Ma it went round, so I did not work there. No problem, no problem. We'll see it now. Okay, Rajeshwari, perimeter of the shaded region? Kanishka? Shreyas? Sathvika? Mom, I got 36 too. 36. Okay. But I think I should share the image uh, to make it clear. Just give me a minute. Let me just share the image. Uh, 71 is the right answer. <clears throat> I'll just unshare my screen for some time, children.
Yes, children. I shared my screen. I'm sure you can help yourself. Perimeter of the shaded region is the length of the boundary of the shaded region. Perimeter of the shaded region is the length of the boundary of the shaded region. <clears throat> so this is the shaded region. See the length of the boundary. This length plus the length of this arc. Sorry. This length plus the length of this arc plus this length plus the length of this arc plus this length <clears throat> plus the length of this arc. This length plus the length of this arc. This is the shaded region. Perimeter of the shaded region is the length of the boundary of the shaded region. So you can see here I've mentioned length of the uh, length of the four arcs. What I've written is area of the shaded region is equal to length of the see here length of the four arcs. One, two, three, four arcs. Length of the four arcs uh, plus <coughs> plus the line, line segments which you can see here. I've mentioned how we got these answers. You can see here how we got these answers I've mentioned here. You can see it here. Yeah, so this full thing is 18. This is 18. Uh, so 7 gone here, radius 7 gone here, radius 7 gone here. So 7 plus 7, 14. So the length of this line segment is 4. AB is 18 centimeters. This one is the radius of the sector 7, and the second radius of the sector 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 18 minus 14, 4. So this one is 4, this part. This one is four. Similarly, the length of AD. AD is 16. AD is 16. 16 minus 7. Minus 7. 7 and 7. 14. 16 minus 14. So the length of this line segment is 2. In the same way, this is 32. Radius 7. Radius 7. 14. 32 minus 14. This portion is 18. BC is 17. 17 minus 7 plus 7, 14. So this portion is 3. That's what you see there. 4. <clears throat> That's what you see here. 4, 2, 18, and 3. And the lengths of these arcs, lengths of these arcs, theta by 360 into 2 pi r. So you cannot, we do not know theta. We don't know the corner angles, nor can you find them. We do not know the corner angles, nor can we find them. We do not know the measures of angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. We only know that the sum of the uh, four angles is 360 degrees. So the length of each of the arcs will be angle A by 316 to 2 pi r, angle B by 316 to 2 pi r, angle C by 316 to 2 pi r, angle D by 316 to 2 pi r. So 2 pi r by 360 common. So in bracket, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus these uh, 4, <coughs> 2, 18 and 3. The length of the four arcs, 
angle A by 316 to 2 pi r, angle B by 316 to 2 pi r, angle C by 316 to 2 pi r, angle D by 316 to 2 pi r. 2 pi r by 360 common. So in bracket, angle A plus B plus C plus D plus the length of the line segments, the total length of the line segments, 27. And then you know what to do. Uh, the sum of the four angles is 360. So 360 gets cancelled. And then 2 into pi is 22 by 7. Radius is 7. Yeah. It's clear, right, children? Very good, Ananya. Well tried. <clears throat> Thank you. Good. Class. Any questions, please ask. And when we find the perimeter of the shaded region, that's a closed figure. You cannot find the perimeter of an open figure. See the perimeter, see the boundary here. It's a closed region. <clears throat> the shaded region is a closed region. See this one, this is the shaded area and it's a closed figure. So basically like you start walking from here. So you walk like this, then you go along this arc like this, along the line segment, along this arc, along this line segment, along this arc, along this line segment, along this arc, and you come back to the starting point. So that length is what you have to find. I'll share all the images, children, at the end of the class. Okay. Then um, <clears throat> next one, find the sum of all the three digit non multiples of 11. Yeah. Now, who can tell me the procedure? How do we find? Because you need to have some idea in your mind, right? You just can't start um, working. First, yes, Shreyas. Um, first, uh, I think first we need to find the sum of all three digit numbers. Very good. All three digit numbers. From that we should. All three yes, digit please. numbers, right? From, from okay. That to Very good. 100 to 999. Then Very from good. That we should, then from that we should subtract the multiples of 11, sum of multiples of 11. So Very we good. would get the all. Very good. Perfect. So, Shreya, so what is uh, the sum of all the three digit uh, numbers? All three digit numbers. Um, it's 4,94,550. Perfect. Very good. And what about the sum of all three digit multiples of 11? Um, 44,550. Very good. Very good. And what's the required sum? The sum of the non multiples? Um, 4,50,000. 4, Perfect. Very good, Shreyas. Well done. So that's the uh, sequence, children. You need to first find the sum of all three digit numbers starting from 100 to 999. From that, you should take away the sum of all three digit multiples of 11. You should find the sum of all three digit multiples of 11. The difference will give you the sum of all three digit non multiples of 11. Very good. So that is about uh, the first paper I sent. The next one. <clears throat> Yes, Kanishka, what's the value of A? One second, children, I've unshared my screen.
Yeah. I've shared my screen. Yes, I was asking Kanishka. What's the value of A, Kanishka? Tarun? Tarun Murali? Rajana Jishwari, I asked you once earlier, no response. Nobody's got the answer, children? Ma'am, I got 15 degrees, ma'am. 15 degrees. 15 degrees. Yeah, 15 is the correct answer. A is 15. The value of A is 15. Next one. Evaluate tan theta plus. Okay, I can show you the answer. So, simple. Can take a screenshot. Take a picture, children. Yeah, next one. What's the value of tan theta plus 4 by 4 cot theta plus 1? Ma'am, is it m divided by square root of m square minus m square? Perfect. Very good. Have you found? Uh, okay, what is uh, the expression for tan theta? Shreyas, tan theta? Ma'am, ma the same, ma'am. m divided by square root of m square minus m square. And what about, uh, so cot will be obviously the reciprocal. Okay. Very good. So you can find uh, the values. You can see the note below. You can find the values of tan theta and cot theta also using a right triangle. You can use a right triangle. Mark this theta. Sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse. So opposite by hypotenuse. Find this one using uh, Pythagoras theorem. And uh, <clears throat> once you have the uh, once you have expressions for all the three sides of the right triangle, you can go on to find the expression for tan theta and cot theta. It's enough to find tan theta, reciprocal is cot theta, and then substitute in this one. So you can find you can find the values of tan theta and cot theta or the expressions for tan theta and cot theta using a right triangle. You can see here. Ha, I have found using uh, trigonometric identities. Using this identity cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is one because we know sine theta is m by n. So cosecant theta will be n by m. So cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. n by m the whole square minus cot square theta is 1. So working this, you can find cot square theta and hence cot theta. And once you find cot theta, it's reciprocal is tan theta. Now substitute. Now you need to evaluate this expression. Substitute uh, the expressions for tan theta and cot theta. And so this is the answer m by root of n square minus m square. Okay. I told you both in two ways. So one is right triangle. Any angle, any one of the two acute angles can be marked theta. So if you mark this as theta opposite by hypotenuse and find this one using Pythagoras theorem. Then find tan theta opposite by adjacent. Reciprocal is cot theta. So after getting the expressions for tan theta and cot theta from this right triangle, substitute them in this to evaluate. 
that expression. <clears throat> yeah, express sine A in terms of uh, cot A. One by uh, root of one plus cot square A. Very good. One by root of one plus cot square A. We need to express sine in terms of cot. So you need to use a trigonometric identity that connects sine and cot or their reciprocals. You can think of an identity that connects sine and cot or uh, cosecant and cot. See, sine, it's reciprocal is cosecant. Cot, it's reciprocal is tan. So you can uh, think of an identity that connects sine A and cot A or sine A and tan A or cosecant A and cot A or cosecant A and tan A. Sine A, it's reciprocal cosecant A. Cot A, it's reciprocal tan A. You can use any identity that connects sine A and cot A or sine A and tan A or an identity that connects cosecant A and cot A or cosecant A and tan A. So cosecant A, cot A. So once you find, uh, okay, so cosecant square A minus cot square A is one. Now, instead of finding sine A in terms of cot A, we are finding cosecant A in terms of cot A. And then you can take the reciprocal. So cosecant square A is one plus cot square A. So cosecant A is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square A. Now, cosecant A can also be written as 1 by sin A. Cosecant A can also be written as 1 by sin A. It's equal we are writing. Cosecant A can also be written as 1 by sin A. So 1 by sin A is equal to root of, we are not taking reciprocal children. We are writing the equivalent of cosecant A. Cosecant A can also be written as 1 by sin A. So is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square A. No change in the RHS because no change in the, uh, no change in the LHS also. We are writing it as it is. Cosecant A is nothing but 1 by sin A. So this one as it is. Now take reciprocals on both the sides. 1 by sin A. It's reciprocal is sin A. So if you take the reciprocal of the LHS, you should also take the reciprocal of the RHS. So reciprocal of 1 by sin A is sin A is equal to the reciprocal of this one is 1 by root of 1 plus cot square A. What's the value of x? 3 mm -hmm. Ram, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ram, read uh, uh, the equation you have just before 3. Mm. And first, 9x is equal to 120 minus 93. 9x is equal to 27. 9x is equal to 27. Okay. Okay, x is 3 is fine. Correct. All of you get that? x is equal to 3? All right. Evaluate this expression. What's the value? Yeah, children, what's the value of this expression?
Ananya? Mom, I haven't done these sums. Okay, so you have not gone ahead of this, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, fine. Class, have we, all of you have to still work, this is it? Have you all gone? Uh, have you all gone ahead of this question or no? No, ma'am. Oh yeah. Okay, fine. No. Yeah, please work. Please work, children. I'm right here. I'm just turning off my. I'm meaning I'm putting myself on mute. Yeah, please work. Maybe uh, get back in 10 minutes.
Yeah, we'll continue discussing the answers. Now, children, what's the answer for this one? The question on the screen. One more. One. One. Uh, what concept uh, in trigonometry have you used to evaluate this expression? Kanishka? Yes, uh, first, uh, I converted uh, some of the like uh, cot uh, 15 and cot 16 and cot 17 into tan 19 minus 15, like the supplement. Yeah, correct. So we use the concept of complementary ratios. Cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta, the concept of complementary ratios. Very good. Yes. So you need to group. <clears throat> you have from cot 15 degrees to cot 75 degrees. So 15 and group cot 15 and cot 75, cot 16 and cot 74, 17 and 73. So like that, it will go on. See, I've told you this one. Seven, add the border angle, 75 plus 15 is 90. 90 divided by 2. 45 is the middlemost angle. 45 will be the middlemost angle. So, cot 45 stands alone. So, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, at a point, we'll get 44. 45 and 46, right? So you would have paired 44 and 46 and 45 will stand alone. Cot 45. Cot 15 and cot 75. Cot 16 and 74. 17 and 73. So as this progresses, you will get 17, 18, 19, 20. So at a point 44 degrees, 45 degrees and 46 degrees. So the last pair will be cot 44. and 46 and 45 will stand alone. So the last pair is caught, caught 44 degrees, caught 46 degrees and caught 45 stands alone. Change any one of the two in the pair, in the pair, change any one of the two. Don't you need not change both. You should not change both. So I've used the concept of complementary ratios and uh, written caught theta, caught 15 degrees as tan 90 minus 15. Cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta. Tan 90 minus theta. So cot 15 degrees is tan 90 minus 15 degrees. This cot 75 as it is. Cot 16 degrees is tan 90 minus 16 degrees. This one as it is. Cot 44 as tan 90 minus 44. Cot 46 as it is. And we know that the value of cot 45 degrees is 1. Now, when you subtract, you get 75. So tan 75 here and this cot uh, 75 as it is. When you subtract, you get 74, cot 74 as it is. And here, when you subtract, you get 46, tan 46, and this cot 46 as it is. Into one, so you can just ignore that. Now, use reciprocal ratios. Use reciprocal ratios. We know that tan theta is 1 by cot theta. Tan theta, reciprocal ratios. Tan theta is not equal to cot theta. Tan theta is not always equal to cot theta. Tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta. So tan 75 degrees is equal to 1 by cot 75 degrees. So reciprocal ratios into this one as it is. So cancels. Reciprocal ratios. So the value is 1. Take a screenshot. What's the value of this expression? Nine. Nine, good. Nine, nine common. 
1 by cos square is secant square a, 1 by cot square is tan square a, reciprocal ratios. 9 into 1, 9. Good. Finish this one, children. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what's the value of P square minus one? Cos theta. Cos theta. Cos theta. Cos theta. Cos theta. Yes, cos theta. Others? Yes, ma'am, I to got this. Very good. Ananya? Nandini? Shreya Shri? Subhalakshmi, what about you? Ma'am, I did the or sum in this question. Oh, now we don't have this. Is <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's do it now together. <clears throat> All right. So, Subhalakshmi, so, uh, P square minus 1 by P square plus 1. All right. So, what is the uh, expression for P? Cosecant theta plus cot theta. So, what is P square then? Cosecant theta plus cot theta, the whole square, minus 1, right? Plus 1. Now expand using the identities. Oh, okay, identity A plus B, the whole square. So A square plus B square plus 2AB. 2AB minus 1 divided by a square plus B square plus 2AB. Now, we know that uh, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. So what do you have here? You have cosecant square theta and uh, minus 1. So what is cosecant square theta minus 1? Cosecant square theta minus 1 is cot square theta. Cot square theta. So in the numerator, in the numerator, cosecant square theta minus 1. Cosecant, you can write them, you can just rearrange like this. Cosecant square theta minus 1. And then you can write cot square theta plus 2 cosecant theta cot theta. And in the denominator, you have uh, cosecant square theta, cot square theta, and plus 1. So then it will be cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. 1 plus cot square theta. So you're going to group cosecant square theta uh, into, sorry, plus cot square theta plus 1 plus 2 cosecant theta, cot theta. So in the denominator, we are going to group uh, cot square theta plus 1 because that is cosecant square theta and the numerator we are going to take cosecant square theta minus 1 which is cot square theta. See because uh, what uh, uh, cosec if you take uh, plus 1 with cosecant square theta what is cosecant square theta plus 1 from this identity? Cosecant square theta plus 1 from this identity. No, you can find cosecant square theta minus one, or you can find one plus, or you can find cot square theta plus one. Using this identity, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is one. 
with cosecant square theta, you should have minus one, which is cot square theta. With cosecant square theta, you should have minus one, which is cot square theta. With cot square theta, with cot square theta, you should have plus one. Cosecant square theta is equal to one plus cot square theta. So with if you want if so if one is with cot square theta, it should be one plus cot square theta. If it's if one is with cosecant square theta, it should be cosecant square theta minus one. So in the numerator, uh, we uh, we uh, you know uh, group cosecant square theta minus one, and in the denominator cot square theta plus one. So cosecant square theta minus one in the numerator is cot square theta. There's another cot square theta, so two cot square theta. And two cosecant theta cot theta. In the denominator, this becomes cot square theta plus one. Cot square theta plus one becomes cosecant square theta. Cosecant square theta plus cosecant square theta. Two cosecant square theta. And then this one as it is. After that, you can understand. See here. I, I stopped here. I stopped here. So then you have to take whatever is common and <clears throat> please follow from here. Take what common cancels. Okay, so I've written uh, cot theta as uh, cos theta by sine theta because we know that uh, other ratios should be written in terms of sine and cos. So cot theta is cos by sine divided by cosecant theta is one by sine, and then division becomes multiplication reciprocal to cos theta. Yeah, what's the value of cos theta here? Yeah, so Balakshmi, you said you did, you did this one. What's the value of cos theta? 8 by 17 or 0. 8 by 17 or 0, is it? Yes, ma'am. Can you share your working on WhatsApp? Can you send your picture? Meaning this uh, picture of your answer now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kanishka, we have to uh, know uh, you don't have a choice. You have to answer all the questions, Kanishka. That's what you texted me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Subhalakshmi, thank you.
Very good. Uh, um, Subhalakshmi, perfect. Now, uh, Subhalakshmi, you have got two values for theta, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, cos theta is um, 0 or 8 by 17. Now, can theta be 0 degrees is uh, what we'll have to check. Okay, can theta be 0 degrees? So what is secant, uh, what is secant zero? Or what is tan zero? What's the value of secant zero? You just have to check that's all, if it can work. If it works, you can go ahead with both the values. Otherwise, you should leave zero degrees and proceed with eight by 17, that's all. What's the value of secant zero class? One, ma'am. Yeah, so. So uh, cos, cos zero degrees is one, so secant zero is also? One. Yeah, what's tan zero? Zero degree. Yeah, now, so if, if theta is zero degrees, if theta is zero degrees, secant zero degrees plus uh, tan zero degrees. Okay, so secant zero, so cos zero is one, so secant zero is also one plus tan zero is zero. What's the value? One, right? So it doesn't satisfy this equation, meaning secant theta plus tan theta is four is given. But if theta is zero degrees, it doesn't satisfy, you get one. So theta cannot be zero degrees. So theta is only eight by 17. Subhalakshmi, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when you get two values for theta, you mostly that zero you have to check. You cannot check for 8 by 17 because you cannot find the value of secant 8 by 17 degrees. Okay. You can also do it like this. Just come back, children. Please proceed working. Yes, children. Have we gone ahead of this one? So this is, I've told you uh, <clears throat> that these equations are impo important to remember. Now, when you, when, when you know that cosecant theta minus cot theta, Supposing it's uh, supposing it's five, then cosecant theta plus cot theta is equal to one by five. Is one by five. If secant theta plus tan theta is four, then secant theta minus tan theta is one by four. Why? Because we know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is one. And secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1, which means this is like a square minus b square. So a plus b into a minus b. So 
cosecant theta plus cot theta. The product is 1 into cosecant theta minus cot theta. The product is 1. See here. The product of cosecant theta plus cot theta and cosecant theta minus cot theta is 1. Children, identity. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1. Identity. Like a square minus b square. So a plus b into a minus b. Cosecant theta plus cot theta. Cosecant theta minus cot theta. So the product of cosecant theta plus cot theta and cosecant theta minus cot theta is 1. When is the product 1? When they are the reciprocals of one another. So if uh, cot theta, uh, cosecant theta, sorry, what's given? Yeah, if uh, cosecant theta minus cot theta is 5, supposing this is 5, this has to be 1 by 5. Only then the product is 1. Here also, secant square theta minus tan square theta. So secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta. Secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. The product is 1. So if secant theta plus tan theta is 4, as in the case here, if secant theta plus tan theta is 4, then secant theta minus tan theta is 1 by 4 because the product should be 1. So you must remember this. So like this, we construct two equations. And we solve the two equations to find the value of cos theta. That's the idea used here. You can do it in a few ways. This is what I have done here. I've constructed two equations. So you can see here, uh, secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta is 1. Secant theta plus tan theta is given to be 4. So 4 into... 4 into secant theta minus tan theta is 1. So secant theta minus tan, tan theta is, when you transpose, you get 1 by 4. So now this is one equation, secant theta plus tan theta is 4. This is 1 by 4. On solving, this gets cancelled. So 2 secant theta is equal to 4 plus 1 by 4. 2 secant theta is equal to, take the LCM, 17 by 4. Secant theta is 17 by 8. So the reciprocal of uh, secant theta is cos theta. So reciprocal of secant theta is cos theta. So the reciprocal of this one is 8 by 17. Taking reciprocals on both the sides. I have written the uh, reciprocal of secant theta. Reciprocal of secant theta is cos theta. So the reciprocal of whatever you do on one side, you should do the same thing on the other side. So you have written, uh, here I have written the reciprocal of this one. So write the reciprocal of this, 8 by 17. I think Subhalakshmi, I have uh, mistaken your cos theta, no, not, not theta zero degrees. I was explaining for theta zero degrees. I'm so sorry. Okay, children, uh, all of you understand this? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Subhalakshmi, yeah, yeah, coming back to you, I was explaining for theta zero degrees. Okay, let me tell you for this. Subhalakshmi has got. Um, cos theta is 0 degree or cos theta is equal to, sorry Subhalakshmi, I was explaining for uh, uh, theta is 0 degrees, sorry. So cos theta is 0 degrees or cos theta is 8 by 17, yeah. I was telling you that, Subhalakshmi, please listen, I'm just uh, correcting myself because I misunderstood what you got. Not misunderstood actually, I didn't, uh, meaning, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, but do it correctly in my mind, Ria. Yeah. So it's as so I was talking about the value of theta zero degrees. You've got cos theta zero degrees or cos theta is eight by seventeen. So this is right. Why we should not go uh, go ahead with uh, cos theta is equal to zero degrees? Okay. If cos theta is zero degrees, what's the value of theta? Cos theta is equal to zero degrees. When is it? When is it uh, zero? What is uh, cos? What is uh, zero in? Uh, when is it zero in the cos table, children? When is the value zero, children, in the cost table? Not zero degrees. Cost 19. Cost 90. Cost 90 degrees. Cost zero. A lot of confusion. Cost theta is equal to cost theta. The value is zero, not zero degrees. This is the angle. Cost 
theta. This is the angle. This one is degree. This is the value zero. I was saying zero degree. See, I'm muddling up. I'm so sorry. Cos theta. This is the angle. Is the value is zero, not zero degrees. And cos theta. This is the angle, and its value is eight by seventeen. This is not degree. This is not degree. Eight by seventeen is not degree. Eight by seventeen is the value of this angle. This angle is in degrees. Cos theta. This angle is in degrees. This value is not degree. This is just a value. It's a number. Okay. I think now I'm clear. Yeah. Now, so cos theta is equal to when is it zero on the cost uh, cost table? Cos ninety degrees. So that means theta is 90 here. Theta is 90 degrees. Now let's see if this works. That's all. You just have to check if it works. So theta is 90 degrees. Then secant 90 degrees plus tan 90 degrees. Let's just check if this works. If it works, you can go ahead. If it doesn't work, you'll have to drop it. Okay. So secant 90 degrees. What is secant 90? What's cost 90? Zero, right? What's cost 90 degrees? Zero. Then what is secant 90? It's reciprocal. Correct? Zero means zero by one. That means one by zero. It's not defined, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so you cannot go ahead with this value. I'll, I'll just repeat it, children. See, we have two values for cos theta. Cos theta is zero. This is the angle. This is the value zero. And cos theta is equal to eight by 17. Okay. In my case, I got only one value for theta. I did not get the other one at all. I got only one value for theta. So in case you work in a different way and you get two values for theta, if you get zero, you just need to check. You just need to check if cos theta can be zero. Okay. So for that, cos theta is equal to zero in the cost, uh, cost table is cos 90 degrees. So that means theta is 90. Theta is 90 degrees. So now secant 90 degrees plus tan 90 degrees. Tan 90 is not defined. Correct? Tan 90 yes. degrees is not defined. And secant 90, cos 90 is uh, 0. So 0 means 0 by 1. So secant 90, reciprocal of that is 1 by 0. Again, not defined. So that means we cannot go ahead with this value. We cannot go ahead with this. So cos theta is 0, we cannot go ahead. So cos theta is 8 by 17. The value of cos theta is 8 by 17. So here you can see, uh, I repeat, when you have, when you have the value of secant theta uh, plus tan theta or secant theta minus tan theta, or if you have the value of cosecant theta plus cot theta or cosecant theta minus cot theta, you can find the other one. So if you have secant theta plus tan theta, you can find secant theta minus tan theta, reciprocal. If this is 4, secant theta minus tan theta is going to be 1 by 4. If secant theta minus tan theta is 4, then secant theta plus tan, th tan theta will be 1 by 4. Solving the two equations, we find the value of cos theta. All right, children, it's time, and I'll just share the answers for the rest of the questions. Uh, children, just let me know if we can have class tomorrow. It's okay with me. Morning, afternoon, evening. I think tomorrow evening will not be uh, the right time to have a class because day after you have your uh, math board. So we'll not do anything tomorrow evening. So tomorrow afternoon, 2 to 4. No, or you want, or uh, do you want to do some self study tomorrow? 
yes individually you can answer who wants to have a class tomorrow even if one of you want to have i can schedule a class ram yes no um yes ma'am rajeshwari shreya shri see you're not going to offend me by saying no it's fine okay kanishka ma'am if there's a class uh, can you keep it on like uh, morning ma'am yeah before um no ma'am i'm okay with it early morning ha huh? early morning mm, i'm yeah, okay I with 7 to 9 okay we'll talk about timing okay morning is fine with you nandini Tarun Murli, I do prefer ah. classes at morning, ma'am. Morning, Tarun Murli. I'm morning first. Adanya. Morning is okay. Satvika. Anything is fine. Not audible. Subha Lakshmi. Yes, ma'am. Shreyas. Anything is fine. Okay, so can we connect tomorrow morning then? Ah, uh, seven o'clock. Seven seven thirty. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, let me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, seven seven thirty. Okay, oh. fine. Fine. I'll probably around. Uh, 8:45. When you need to have your breakfast, I'll give you 10 minutes time, and then we'll uh, continue. All right, children. Fine. Around seven or seven thirty, I'll just uh, let you know on WhatsApp a little later by the end of the day. All right, children. We'll meet tomorrow. I'll share the uh, answers to the rest of the questions. In fact, all the questions of today's uh, uh, papers uh, in some time. Okay. You can go through the answers. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. You may leave the call. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, see you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children.